particular context, I think, in India, we have seen a lot of violence in the just uh, uh, a few weeks or a few uh, months ago. So, how far you, you can achieve this kind of a peace, a, a stress-free, violence-free world? Through education. First is we have to educate our people <coughs> how to combat their emotions. You know, when you feel angry, upset, and you don't know how to handle this frustration, the frustration ferments and becomes violence. Mm -hmm. There is domestic violence and societal violence. And then the third type of violence is suicidal tendency. So when the prana level or energy level in a person goes so low, mm. instead of hurting others, he starts hurting himself or herself, mm. suicidal. So to combat this, we have to have a holistic program. One is help people to handle their mind, their emotions, their negative feelings, and give a right channel for those negative feelings. Number one. Second is engage people in social activities, service activities, mm -hmm. creating a sense of belongingness. Uh, it's true that when we see the violence in India, what it was before and what it is now, you may feel it has gone up. Mm -hmm. But if you see it in total, the violence all over the world, India is still much, much, much better. The crime in the entire country of India is equivalent to the crime that happens in just New York City. You know, the jails in many countries in the world are filled to three, four times its capacity. This shows the amount of increase in violence in the world. But fortunately in India, because we have that old tradition, of Om Shanti, of peace and of peaceful coexistence, forgetting the past and letting go of the past, going ahead, we are still a civilized society, still surviving. You were just uh, referring to education and in Kerala, the, the formal education, I am referring to very particularly the formal education, you were, you were also talking about the informal education like uh, interaction with people and doing other activities and all those things. But formal education in Kerala has become a big business nowadays and there are a lot of chaos on that particular aspect, there are political and social chaos is existing in Kerala. And you are going to establish the, the temples of wisdom. Jnana Kshetras, it's a great concept. Could you just explain what is this? You know, this uh, temple of knowledge or temple of wisdom in all these Jnana Kshetras are there for to uplift the society, to give them a moral phys and ethical courage and physical well-being, mm -hmm. an intellectual sharpness and alertness, and to get people away from superstitions, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So these are some of our main aim for people to uh, blossom in their true human values. Mm -hmm. And with all these jadis, all the castes, people of all castes and religion, everyone can come together and celebrate life. Okay. Yana Kshetras are for celebrations. Very good. And uh, uh, coming to the caste, the jadis, what you said, and uh, you were working um, uh, a lot towards the, what do you see, uh, against the disparity of Dalits in, in India, especially in India, we have that kind of, a uh, lot of, uh, uh, what do you say, social evils. But um, the, the people who, who uh, argue that Hinduism is replete with this kind of disparity, they always quote Bhagavad Gita, saying uh, uh, that Chadur Varnam Maya Sashtam. They always quote that. Is, I think it's a misquote. Can you just explain that? You know, Chatur Varnam Maya System. Then the next line, they, why don't they look into Guna Karma Vibhagasa? Not Janma Karma Vibhagasa. Not Janma Karma, <laughs> Janma Vibhagasa. Guna Karma. That is true in everywhere in the world. There is lawyers association. Are they not? There are bar association, whether it's Russia, or America, or China. There are doctors association. There are army headquarters, army associations, ex-army men's, they have their own associations. Business community have got chamber of commerce all over the world. If you are a professional, you cannot get entry into a chamber of commerce. Mm -hmm. Chamber of commerce 
is meant for people who are in the business field. Only businessmen can be part of it. Similarly, teachers association is only for teachers. <laughs> Isn't it? So, chatur varna varna means this is guna karma vibhaksha. Action, whatever their profession and their nature, their tendencies. And this is not what we call today Brahmin, Kshatriya. And those days, they were the system in the society. Mm -hmm. And if you see, by Janmana, so many Rishis were from Dalits. Mm -hmm. About 1000 Rishis, just two or three are from Brahmin caste. Many others are from different lower castes. Mm -hmm. what, what people call as lower caste, I don't like to call even lower caste. Mm -hmm. Other caste, other backward caste. Mm -hmm. So great Rishis have come out from different castes. Mm -hmm. So the caste system was never based on uh, birth. Okay. Later on sometime it got stagnated and became evil. Now it has entered even Christians and Muslim yes, yes. community also. There is yes. Dalit Christians Dalit and Christian, Dalit yeah. Mus Muslims. Converted Christian circle. Mm -hmm. You know, this is where I feel the, the caste is being used politically rather than socially. If it had remained only a social level, it would have gone long ago. Mm -hmm. But it, when it has entered in the political arena also, Mm -hmm. So, people are making use of all the OBC or Papa caste or this caste or that caste mm -hmm. as vote banks. Ningal Ningale Kalere, we took a carim Satikino. In Yetra Chuda Yalam, we are Payalam. Pinopam Roganukal Paratunu skin rashesum we are pugurum polula rogangal. Adugondana detrols nanam illa divasavum. Ad Roganukal Kedra and Algunu Patu Madanga Kodal Sam Rectionam. Ipurida Pudya Detol Fresh. Uru Pudya fresh Sugandatil. Ad the two in the Nalgunu Aswasam. Ningal Kilabikino un me some ninda samete. Fresh! Super fresh! Pudya detol fresh. Agu Surechidam Agu Fresh. Detol be hundred percent sure. Tedumolam prema gita ngal tamu, inam cerdu nyani nunin kadil paranyu. Orang ini dah lalu satu, lalu paranya mana? Geography, chemistry, apa nama itu? I think it's a combination but naturally that's why you won last year. Kuranya bacaan part nairte pelikkan semikya, adu cehiila. Ini kenu I know as the right word is focus. There was no focus at all in what you were doing. Ideas dancing. Okay, coming to the the interference of the politics in the society. You said um, always India's negative aspects were uh, uh, you know, projected than the good, good values. It is happening, although the time it is happening. Do you think any political ideologies that exist in India have any role in that? Another thing is art and culture. You know, Satyad Roy was always blamed of uh, projecting the poverty of India outside. Even the slum, uh, slum dog millionaire. It's also the story of the, the slum people, the, the poverty, again the poverty. And the ideology, some political ideologies uh, do not uplift the, 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 the values, the, the traditional values of India. They, uh, uh, on the other hand, they say it is superstition. So what is really superstition and what is the influence of uh, the political ideologies in interpreting Indian values? You know, it's not a new, new thing. It's from a long time, the self-confidence of India has been smashed. It has been happening from... 
a couple of hundred years. Because at one point India was uh, earning about one third of the GDP of the whole world. Mm. So India's fame had reached so far and then Columbus went to find India and found America. Those days without telegraphs or telephones or any communication. So uh, India definitely has talents. India definitely has uh, problems as well. It should not be projected only as a rosy picture mm -hmm. or only as a bad picture. Both I feel is not complete. Mm -hmm. I would say India is a mixture of sand and sugar. Mm -hmm. So you put it in the water and then you'll see the water becomes sweet and the sand settles down. So you need to have that wisdom of projecting both sides of India. We have to honestly see, reflect of what is wrong with us. At the same time, don't be a masochist. Don't go on telling everybody this is the only thing wrong with me. Also recognize the beautiful things that this country has given to the world. Mm -hmm. You were uh, referring to the politicians um, uh, using people for uh, for the for vote to uh, vote bank, especially about uh, this kind. You know the the communal disparity also they are making use in this direction. I think because I think the terrorism is a, a byproduct of uh, such activities. Terrorism is a, a subject being discussed in different levels nowadays. And you, I remember having read somewhere you have uh, written that we should harness our values to fight against terrorism and uh, prevent the the you, the, the young, younger mind turning towards uh, violence. But our values are divided into different sects, different religions, and, all, uh, uh, and different castes even. We can, uh, again, I'm referring to castes, uh, uh, different castes. Do you think this cacophony be made into a, 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 a symphony? Certainly. You know, um, that's where spirituality comes into place. Where religion divides people, spirituality can unite people. Service can unite people. Art and culture can unite people. You know, recently we had this uh, uh, program Brahmanad in New Delhi in Noida, mm -hmm. and there were twelve hundred sitar players. They were from yeah, Muslim. No, they were so. Christians. They were the, um, uh, upper caste, mm -hmm. OBCs, Dalits. Mm -hmm. Name it, Sikhs. Everybody was there, and everyone was playing in symphony. <laughs> I mean, sports can unite people of mm -hmm. all castes and religion. Entertainment industry can unite people. And spirituality can unite people. Mm -hmm. you know, it's only politics that seems to be dividing somewhere. I don't know whether politics is uniting or not, but I'm not very familiar. Mm -hmm. But also industry can unite people, you know, commerce and industry. Mm -hmm. See, you don't ask when you want a good lawyer, what caste he is or what religion he is. When you are looking for a lawyer, you want a good lawyer. When you are looking for a doctor, you don't ask whether this doctor is from a upper caste or Dalit or Hindu, Muslim or Christian. All that you go in for is the best doctor. Yeah. So okay. people don't have that caste or religion feeling so deep in them. We are secular by nature. Mm -hmm. We are all accommodating by nature. But only when politics comes, then we say, oh, well, if the president is a Hindu and the pre vice president should be a Muslim and <laughs> vice versa, or this should be there, that should be there. We try to bring in caste factor. It comes along with politics. That's so unfortunate for our country. Mm -hmm. We need to have more young people come into politics. Yes. Youth but should come with a new vision, mm -hmm. with a changed vision with a vision of long-term benefit rather than uh, trying to restrain them from an old thought. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe in the class conflict because you are referring to the industries. Industries is a, is a part of capitalism and the capital is accumulated in one part and uh, the workers are on the other part. You, 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 don't you know, believe in communism that. has failed in 90s, late 90s, 80s and 90s. Communism has collapsed in the world. All the communist countries have now become uh, going towards capitalism. Now in this last dec last year, capitalism also failed. Yes. We found capitalism Obviously. is a bubble. It's just an illusion. And it is an exploitation and greed of just a few people. Mm -hmm. So capitalism completely collapsed. So no-ism 
can function without humanism so i would say this is the era of humanism and if humanism is there communism will also flourish if humanism is there capitalism will also flourish if the element of humanism is missing forget about any ism it's going to bring only disaster in the society there is also uh, another word which you refer you uh, you've been repeating that word spirituality spirituality is the it, spirituality is always associated with religion always can you say uh, can you uh, give a, uh, the, the the concept of uh, spirituality which trespasses the border lines of society i mean religion you know religion comes by birth you are born into a particular religion and it has rituals religion uh, you are death is by you are you know last rites are done marriages are done by religion religion is the outer shell of uh, a culture a civilization a society a philosophy but spirituality is the essence of that it's mm -hmm. a central core central essence of it. Mm -hmm. and in your system and and where spirituality is a common and between all the religions and it unites them spirituality is more about the experience religion is a, like reading the menu card mm -hmm. you know you go to a restaurant you read the menu card first mm -hmm. but menu card is not the menu mm -hmm. is not the food itself it not. like that the food real Uh, substance in every religion is truth beauty love satyam shivam sundaram all that is an experience mm -hmm. uh, receiving the oscar award rasul pukuti the sound engineer he said that he is he is very proud that he is coming from a country a civilization which gave the universe the word which preceded by silence and followed by more silence that is om he said what is really om whenever we refer to india we used to say om but all the people the all uh, you know citizens of uh, india do not utter om or have understood the the depth of om what is really om is that that important yes you know it's om is uh, not only for hinduism om is in buddhism sikhism jainism even taoism and shinto uh, faiths have also have some form of the original sound they call it the om mm -hmm. so om is the sound when many thousands of rishis scientists what you call spirituals they went deep in meditation they heard this mm -hmm. this is what is called in zen buddhism also as one hand clapping okay. that that universal sound it's om sound mm -hmm. a u m mm, the three aspects of it that takes a one's prana into a complete fullness completion of uh, you know okay. all the three levels of okay. existence okay. so now the om chanting is done across not only sects of hinduism across the religions that have flourished in this whole area and in all your uh, discourses i have uh, i have uh, um, uh, particularly noticed that you were referring to the intuitive abilities of individuals and you were also now uh, just now you were talking about education also education is some way we are training the brain and uh, some way we are uh, uh, diverting the thoughts to a particular uh, this thing and uh, making our brain interpret something and what is the difference what is the difference between these two you know giving education and developing the intuitive ability if you watch the saraswati statue there are three aspects you know the ancient people thought very well and symbolized education knowledge as saraswati mm -hmm. she has veena that's music, music. and book, book that is knowledge. knowledge and there is a japa mala that's intuition oh. <laughs> so the intuitive faculty intellectual faculty and emotional faculty three faculty have to be nurtured equally only then a person can be complete in his wisdom okay uh, your organization was established i think in 
uh, and it was uh, a non-profit society, charitable society, and you were, you were, uh, objectives were working towards the educational and humanitarian um, activities in the world. And it, it went a long way ahead, and gradually it has, uh, I think it has um, uh, obtained an image of a spiritual organization, and gradually you were evolved as a godman, as the, the people used to say. And I, I just, uh, it is just out of curiosity I'm asking, at any stage did you try to resist this image? Or do you think that this kind of an image is necessary to attain the goal which you have in your mind? You know, I don't try to create an image of myself among people, mm -hmm. nor do I try to decreate it, whatever they have created. Mm -hmm. So I give everyone freedom, they can think whatever they want to think about me. <laughs> because they have freedom. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be given the freedom of opinion. Mm -hmm. If someone calls you today donkey or tomorrow they calls you, you are a wise man, mm -hmm. it should make no difference to you. It is their opinion, their perception. Mm -hmm. And you can't expect the whole population of the planet to have the same perception. Mm -hmm. Some perception may be correct, some may be not correct. And from different levels of consciousness, their, per their perception is mm -hmm. the way it is. Mm -hmm. So we need to accommodate and ac accept people, whatever they feel about you, whatever they think about you. It is their freedom. Mm. Because they have, they are all intelligent. I don't consider the world as foolish to go and educate them. No, people have got their intelligence. You simply have to appeal to the intelligence. Mm. Ningle Tayarano, family kiss surprise of the Ningle day, family care, or put your toilet in the Gikunda. Put your toilet harpic in the Adulia shape, Kidanoko Lunjik in the Mukil Muli Matuno, Alpam harpic, Mudu and Padano, Korchinera Manganeviku, Pinacano Magi. Hi, three Britannia Cantail, Pudumatamole. Hade, Ella Kidanakum boy. Apo, why take Anna? Hala, eat toilet lendido. Hendagilum Magi. Harpic in a Ningle family care or a surprise Nalgo. Asianet Communications Limited requires for its new website, content developers, web sales executives. For details, please visit the career page on our current website www.asianetglobal.com Email careers at asianetworld.tv As a person, or to, be, to be honestly, I haven't um, attended any, any course of um, uh, with you guys, Kentra, and uh, I have to, I have a lot of friends who are doing that, and I have sent many to them, and if I, if I, if I wish to do, do that. But uh, talking to them, what I have perceived is you have uh, uh, altered a lot of things to the, uh, the ancient yogic techniques. Uh, do you think that it, it, the ancient techniques do not cater the demands of the modern life, or uh, whether there is any, any special objective to us there? No, there are certain techniques which are, which can be used for all people, all time, and certain other things uh, doesn't suit the present day living conditions. Okay. You know, and people, today people don't have so much time, first of all. They want quick results. Yes, yes. And uh, the responsibilities are so high, so much. In ancient days, the fields would grow and it was a small village community and people had plenty of time, they could sit and do meditation for hours together. Today people want quick results. <laughs> but uh, meditation in, in, a, in a way, you know, uh, 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 looking for a uh, result, uh, with, with an objective can uh, one do a meditation? With I, I want to achieve this, I want to attain this or I want to finish it within this time. In, in such a manner, can, uh, can meditation be done? Meditation is helpful for you to attain any goal you want. Okay. It doesn't deter you from your goal, mm. unless and until it is a criminal goal. Mm -hmm. Definitely then it takes you away from the criminal. Mm -hmm. okay. And it helps, it helps 
that's why yoga and yogyata are very close the yogyata in the the word yogyata means one who has done yoga okay the capability mm -hmm. you know the efficiency mm -hmm. yoga ha karma su kaushalam skill in action efficiency in action is what it is called yoga mm -hmm. we know that uh, with vidyas kandra is conducting a lot of courses in different parts of the country and a lot of people are going there and you as you said in the beginning as a physical and psychological or mental training is very necessary for uh, you know keeping peace or uh, you know uh, acquiring peace or establishing peace in our society and could you just explain what is the sudarshana kriya and how does it uh, uh what do you see sublimate your thought and purify your mind and make your body healthy you know sudarshan kriya first uh, first of all it uh, balances the doshas in the body vata pitta kapha three doshas it balances the body it improves the circulatory system it energizes it improves your breathing capacity lung capacity oxygenates your blood and the cells in the body so there are many many physical benefits mm -hmm. and then on the emotional level it harnesses all the pancha pranas on the pranic level mm -hmm. pana pana samana udana yana the pancha pranas it brings harmony between the pancha pranas third is this um, it releases all the pent up emotions of anger fear less frustration sadness which we have been harboring from long time it clears you of all this mm -hmm. and it brings that lighter feeling and it gets you in touch with the light by which we are all made up of mm -hmm. that's why it has become so popular throughout the world and people have benefited it's not that you keep doing one day in the future you will get a benefit just with the two days of sudarshan kriya the first day second day first and second sitting itself you get the experience mm -hmm. and and people uh, lives are transformed they stop drinking alcohol afterwards and they lose this habit of uh, tobacco or cigarette and their relationship with people becomes people. so much better in those mm -hmm. and you find a more loving compassionate person Finally, one question: Life is very complicated, and life needs a lot of planning. Life need, needs a lot of uh, knowledge, and in that context, life is a kind of science. And you call it art of living. Your system is called art of living. Why do you call it an art? And how is life an art? Art means uh, that which you appreciate. You know, you have some the poo column. You put the poo column. Yeah. What do you call it? Art. Art. <laughs> art. So, why you call it art? When you appreciate something, then you call it. We appreciate everything our own life, but we forget to appreciate the life itself, the emptiness. So, art of living means learning to appreciate your life. Because science is so vast. People, there are scientists. The number of. Uh, scientific experiments are done of course science is also in art when you start appreciating science so in this sense uh, people started calling art of living it was not any intentionally thought of name for art of living it just became that way thank you gilji thank, thank you very much it is very kind of you spending this much of time from your very hectic schedule for asia net वाषिंग पउडर सुप्रभात समर्पित उजाल वाषिंग पउडर केरल कल ऐसी मार्बि आ